Have you ever been asked to give an account of something? Maybe an event that happened around you, or an account of how you spent the money you were given for your birthday. You probably had to think about the answer carefully before you started to be sure you don't leave any important detail out. To you, an account tells a story or gives a description of events that took place in the past. In accounting, an account is a history of all transactions that are similar in nature. It is normal for a business to keep accounts separately for items like assets, liabilities, income, and expenses. A building is an asset, a debt is a liability. Money from sales is an income, and cash paid to suppliers is an expense. An account can be personal or impersonal based on the type of transactions recorded. Transactions between the business and persons are recorded in personal accounts. So when a business has transactions with individuals, other businesses and sole traders. It is recorded in the personal account. Accounts for people who hold the business money, like debtors, and people who the business owe money, like creditors, are personal accounts. Debtors are people that buy from the business, and creditors are people who supply goods and services to the business. For example, if John buys book from the bookshop without paying immediately, John is a debtor. If the bookshop buys book from their suppliers and agree to pay later, the suppliers are creditors. In personal accounts are accounts that are not personal accounts. In personal accounts deal with assets, income, and expenses. The impersonal account can be a real account or a nominal account. Physical assets or properties of the business are recorded in the real account. If a bookshop buys a van for delivering books to schools and customers, it is recorded in the real account. Furniture, land, building, and other assets that can be seen and touched are recorded in the real account. When the company makes gains or losses, they record it in the nominal account. Rent, salaries, electricity bills, and other expenses are recorded in nominal account too. Giving an account of an event is always easier when you paid attention when the event happened. Every business should be careful when giving accounts and should understand what each type of account should contain. Hope you enjoy this class. See you in my next class.